following program is brought to you in living color. Hey there, everybody. 60 millimeter DJ here. Um, so I wanted to do an update on my uh, Polaroid uh, 100 series land film loading video because when I did it last, it was kind of crappy. I had my friend like sort of overviewing the video and also just sort of goofing around behind me. So I wanted to do an updated one. So here's a film loading process for any uh, land Polaroid Land 100 series camera. That includes this one, which is a newer version. This is a Polaroid uh, Reporter. Um, it's very similar to the other ones. It is a rangefinder. Um, it has manual focus. You have to sort of guess the focus sort of thing. But there are also different types. Essentially, uh, there are different models of this type of camera. Um, I can't show them to you, but uh, it, you'll you'll be able to like Google. Like, this is my model number camera, and it'll say that's a Polaroid 100 series camera. And if so, you're lucky, because since Polaroid doesn't make them anymore, Fuji has actually started doing, um, well, actually, I think they've been doing this for a while, but they have their own series of film. They have color and black and white. I just happen to have a lot of film on me right now. Um, this is the type that is a very good color film. This is their FP100C. It's very good for outdoor, bright light. It's a 100 ASA film, or ISO. Um, it's pretty slow film, but that uh, does lead to a great amount of detail, and um, I think it's a really good quality film, much better than Polaroid's old 669 film, and it's it's a really good option. I think this is around, uh, I think on Amazon it's around seven or eight bucks, so this is really cheap. This is ten photos, as far as like instant photos go. This is a little more expensive. This is FP 3000B. It's black and white, and it's um, very high contrast. It's got a really high ASA. And most 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 cameras, at least Polaroids, will be using a tiny tiny aperture um, for this sort of thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but maybe you can. Right in there, there's a tiny little hole inside the lens. Um, this model, the Reporter, has a sort of a cheap plastic lens. Some of the older Polaroids have better quality glass lenses, but um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to load a pack of 3000B film. Um, it has really quick developing time. It's like 15 to 20 seconds in hot in like sort of warm. It's around 60 67 degrees out right now, Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open, and let me show you. I just wanted to get a test picture in before um, before it gets too dark out. Um, so the way you open up, at least the Polaroid Porter, 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 I think they also call the EE100, I think is also another model similar to this, takes the same film. Uh, for at least this type, you have a little metal strap here that you sort of pop off, and then you open up, and in the back, you get the rollers, which I put like my name and contact and stuff, and um, these rollers are actually removable. And you should keep these clean if possible. Um, just sort of, I think I usually use hot water or warm cloth to sort of keep them uh, uh, not caked with the the crap that comes off of these uh, peel apart style style films. Um, and in at least in this type, you have two AA batteries. I think some of the older ones actually require a different type of three volt battery that goes like on the side. And for that, you'll have to make some sort of like three volt battery holder for two AA or something like that. There are various modifications. They're pretty easy if you can just go to Radio Shack and grab the required parts. Um, <laughs> other electronic stores are available. Um, so let me show you how to load this up. Um, as this one has rollers. Yours might have little blades that sort of uh, press the film together. Essentially, when it gets pulled out of the camera, because you have to manually pull this stuff out, it will uh, squeeze the, the goop together. And um, very untechnical term. But um, those are what... D get the developing process started. So let's go ahead and pop this uh, film open. I'm going to start with 3000B because that's my favorite, as this is a uh, manual sort of guess and check uh, rangefinder style camera. Um, the uh, you have a set uh, focal length. <laughs> you have a set focal length for your um, for your shots. So you're always going to set the camera at five feet. The other ones might be different. I've only done research on this camera because it's the only 100 st series camera that I have. Um, but yeah, so you get it in this nice packaging here. I'm actually going to close that because it's unnecessary. Ah! Yeah, so <clears throat> you get this in this nice airproof, airtight seal, whatever. Uh, last time I did this, I had some trouble opening this up. So try not to press on the insides areas. Just get it open any way you can without like squeezing the middle of it. So you get the, so when you open up the packaging, you get this pack of film here, and it's got this large exposure area, which is which matches up with the um, the part of the uh, camera where the light goes through. Anyway, yeah, you just stick it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording a video. <laughs> um, okay, so essentially, it's got a slot in the back. You sort of push it in like this, 
and then press it down and secure. You need to make sure that this flap comes out over the side like this, and then you simply snap this down. You need to make sure you have the tab coming out of there. And then once you secure it, you're pretty much done, except for this part. So you need to pull the tab all the way out like that. And now your film is ready to be exposed. So I'm going to get to another camera and see if I can use the YouTube editor to sort of clip the right parts together. And um, yeah, I'll go outside and grab a picture real quick. All right, so we're going to take a quick picture with the Polaroid uh, using the FP3000B film by Fuji. Um, so this specific camera is one of the newer Polaroids, um, Polaroid 100 series cameras. Essentially, for the 3000 speed, you need to set it on uh, five feet distance. That's sort of an estimation um, as to your range, uh, your focal length. Uh, but for this one, it is just going to be constantly set at five because the 3000B requires a really small aperture and um, it's just sort of a, uh, a very high speed film. So uh, we tried this already once and I'm going to pick a brighter subject than I did last time. But let's take a look at this. Um, I'll just grab a picture of this bark here. Um, I'll have to like sort of walk through the bushes. Um, So I'm taking the shot, you don't really need to keep the top open, but we're going to develop the picture, and it's going to be about 20 seconds because it's around 70 degrees, maybe a little more. Um, so we pull out the first tab, like that, and we pull out the second, and then we just let it hang as we count it up. So just sort of watch a clock or a timer if you've got one. Ah, oh, fuck, where do we start? That was 10 seconds. 15. I'll go a little over 20 because it's a little colder than 70. And that should be good. So, all right, so here's the finished result. There is the picture of the bark. Um, as far as contrast goes, there's not much light on the tree right now, if you could sort of look at that. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of in shadow. So, um, as far as contrast goes, for something with this amount of like uh, light difference, it's hard to catch much uh, detail. But the focus is pretty much generally um, I mean, acceptable. I can show you, I have, if I had better examples, I'd show them to you. But that's essentially what that looks like. And uh, yeah, so if you were to buy a Polaroid 100 series camera, um, I'd suggest pretty much the only option you have nowadays is to get the Fuji FP series film. Uh, it comes in 300C and uh, 1000, 3000B rather. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, you get really good looking pictures, especially when it's sunny out. If you're going to use the 100, C film, let's move over here. Uh, you're not going to want to use the camera indoors because it's just too damn dark. I mean, even in some place like this that's sort of shouted, shrouded, it's going to be uh, just crapalicious. And you sort of do just need to be out in good sunshine when you're using this. Or use one of the flash cubes, which they don't make anymore, and you need to order them from eBay and weird stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something. And that is the Polaroid 100 series.